Hi everyone, today I'm here to talk about a book series actually because it's pretty short and I've actually been reading all the books this last week and that book series is The Great Brain book series by John D. Fitzgerald. Um, it is for younger kids but I really love these books. I remember reading them when I was growing up as a kid and my younger brother also read them and he totally loved them so it was fun to go back and reread them as an adult. <clears throat> I still think they're entertaining, um, like the stories are clever, the way Tom swindles people, kids out of things is really clever, um, so I really enjoy it, it's funny, it's light, like I don't really want to read anything depressing right now or <laughs> super heavy because I feel like I've been reading some like heavier books lately, except for Animorphs, that was just kind of fun, but um, <laughs> and so... Um, it was fun to just read something, yeah, that was lighthearted, that was funny. It still touches you at some moments. There was definitely a chapter of the book where I teared up a little bit because it was about the town dog that kind of, you know, nobody owned and yet everybody helped and he passed away and that made me so sad because I love dogs and, and the kids in the book, they gave him a funeral and marched to the street and like buried him and I was literally so touched by that I almost started to cry so <laughs> I got I had tears in my eyes but I was like holding them back so I was like Tate come on it's okay um so yeah the they take place in Addenville Utah which I was a little bit sad to learn is not a real place in Utah just because I love to travel and if I was passing through Utah I would have totally gone and visited Addenville where these books are set you know but since it's not a real place I can't actually go and visit where um, John D. Fitzgerald grew up with his siblings and so it is it is kind of an autobiographical series but also John D. Fitzgerald you know took liberties with his life he only has brothers in this series but he did have I think he had at least one sister maybe more in real life sorry I'm not actually sure how many sisters he had but so he does take some liberties you know it's not a hundred percent a true story but it's still a really good story and like I said it's funny it's lighthearted, it's really nice I totally love it and I would definitely suggest The Great Brain I think there are about seven books in the series right now I'm on book six but all of them have been fantastic and like I said I love seeing how Tom John's older brother swindles all of the kids and even the parents in town. It's just so funny and I love it. Um, so yeah, that was the book review of the Great Brain book series by John D. Fitzgerald. And my random question for the week that has to do with this is have you ever swindled anyone before? Not that I can remember. <laughs> Maybe I've swindled my brothers out of things. I have three brothers so I'm sure at some point in time, you know, we were like blackmailing each other or taking things from each other but justifying it but like I can't think of a certain instance where I've swindled my brothers <laughs> maybe you know if they watch this which they don't watch my book reviews but if they did they would they could let you know in the comments <laughs> so if you did like this video and if you enjoy hearing about books and what I enjoy about them or sometimes what I don't enjoy about them, please subscribe down below and also like this video and comment. Have you ever been swindled before or have you ever swindled your siblings before or maybe someone else? But if you're a swindler and it was a big crime that you can go to jail for, you probably shouldn't admit that here. Otherwise, feel free to comment down below once again, like and subscribe. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.